Melania Trump has totally stunned us with her transformation. From Slovenia to the United States, to the heart of American politics, and then becoming one of the most powerful and recognizable faces in the world, Melania Trump is the mirror image of quiet determination, unwavering focus, and unbeatable conviction. The graceful and stunning wife to the 45th President of the United States has quickly transited into a household name in the American political and social scene. Immaculately groomed and dressed in a fashion that is reminiscent of style icons of the past and often misconstrued as shy and withdrawn, she is a steady tour de force. She is a mother, executive, philanthropist, and unyielding other half of Donald Trump. With the eyes of the world set on her, she has been unwittingly thrown into the political and social spotlight, and the media in true fashion have sought to unravel her. She is perpetually in their crosshairs and has been made a target of sorts. The press have been nitpicky about her, trying to cast her in the mold of an opportunist while underplaying her many wins, perhaps taking advantage of her aversion for the spotlight. However, despite her shy and withdrawn personality, she remains a force to reckon with and has come to establish herself as a resolute, determined, and unwavering persona in the Trump dynasty. In this video, we'll show you how Melania Trump has stunned us with her transformation and held our attention captive over the years. Originally born a Knaus in Yugoslavia, born on April 26, 1970, in the industrial town of Novo Mesto in the former Yugoslavia, Melania Trump was born Melania Knaus. There was no indication from her humble beginnings that she would come as far as she did. Her earliest years were lived in a utilitarian, unadorned, communist-era apartment block. And rather than the New York skyline she'd later become accustomed to, she'd spend her growing years looking out onto factory chimney stacks. In many ways, it can be said that she was light years away from the flamboyant Trump Towers and the White House she eventually called home. According to the New York Times, her father, Victor, worked as a salesman, and her mother, Amalia, was a children's clothing designer. I think I can say Novo Mesto was too small for her, childhood friend Mirjana Jelancic shared via People magazine. Even as a child, she dreamed of moving, even saying that her favorite subject in school was geography. Jelancic, principal at the elementary school where they both formerly attended, further described Melania. She was a very good student. She was an angel. Melania Trump has always been passionate about fashion. Everything about her speaks of flamboyance and elegance. She is always quaffed to the nines and definitely takes her fashion seriously. She pulls off every look effortlessly, and it is easy to see why. She nurtured her love for fashion from a very young age, a love that would blossom into a lifelong passion. In an interview with Parenting Magazine, she talked about her earliest inspiration. I always liked beauty and fashion. My mom was in the fashion business. I was five years old when I did my first catwalk, she recalled. My mom loved fashion. We loved to travel and go to Italy and Paris. I was always very tall and skinny. Sometimes I was teased, but I was never embarrassed. I always liked myself. I knew what I wanted to do. I found my passion at such an early age. It helped with my confidence. Knowing what she wanted at an early age might have been the primary reason why she eventually became a supermodel. Melania had a relatively better upbringing than many of her peers, thanks to her hardworking parents, participating in after-school gymnastics, and traveling to Italy and Austria to ski during the winter. All of these would play a role in shaping her personality and preparing her for the future. She also nurtured the steady hand of an artist. This likely stemmed from her close proximity to her mother, according to GQ. Melania never wore anything from the store, a friend told the magazine. She designed her own outfits, whilst the sewing was assigned to her mother and sister. Aside from nurturing her taste for fashion, she also liked to have original pieces. All these would reflect in her fashion choices in life, especially when she eventually got into the White House. Melania Trump was scouted at 16 years of age. Melania's talent and potential was unmistakable from an early age. It didn't take long for modeling scouts to discover her. 
Her Eastern European heritage gave her a distinctive beauty that made her stand out. Coupled with her impeccable taste in fashion, svelte figure, and early exposure to the world, Melania made the perfect candidate for modeling, and the talent scouts spotted that. Hers was a modeling fairy tale akin to Cinderella's. But rather than having a vengeful stepmother, she had hard-working parents who were devoted to seeing her dreams manifest. Melania Trump was discovered by photographer Stain Jerko at the age of 16 in 1987. She was attending the Secondary School of Design and Photography in Ljubljana, the now Slovenian capital, and was living in an apartment purchased by her father. Although Jerko spotted her waiting for a friend after a fashion show, it was not easy to convince the aspiring model to hearken to his words. School was the most important thing to her, he told GQ. But passion would soon win her over. The prospect of modeling for some of the top brands in the world was too enticing to resist. According to GQ, Jerko taught Trump how to pose and photographed her just a few weeks after their first encounter without shoes. I didn't have shoes for her because she had very big feet. The other models had smaller feet, Jerko recalled in the GQ interview. But, he assured, when you live on big feet, you live big. Melania had no choice but to drop out of architecture school after being signed to a modeling agency in Milan. She was 18 years old at the time. She also had a famed second place finish in Gianna Magazine's Slovenian Face of the Year contest in 1992. She would soon become a household name in Paris and Milan, but the scintillating butte had her gaze fixed on the bustling, fashion-crazed city of New York. And as the hands of the clock ticked away, fate spun its hands and drew the cards that'll set her on a winding path that'll land her in the hands of a famous Donald Trump. New York City was not a bed of rose. Although Melania had lived a charmed life, she'd soon find out that New York City, just like life, was no bed of roses. Finding her way into the Big Apple would come with a fair number of challenges. She arrived in New York City in 1996, thanks to her agent Paolo Zampoli, but she was 26 years old then, and her big plans didn't seem to be taking root as fast as she wanted. Also, her American modeling contract was running out, and with it was her visa. It's a frustrating age for models, the late 20s. It's not a friendly industry. Trump's former roommate, Matthew Atanian, mentioned, per GQ. She wasn't working every day. She was going to castings every day and not succeeding. She said things were very different in Europe, that she had been more successful. He continued, saying, She aired frustration over the work issue. Melania Trump found herself in a precarious position, and time was not on her side. Would she be able to pull a rabbit out of a hat? How did she get herself out of this position? She did what she had to do to land modeling gigs. The famous saying goes that, where there's a will, there's a way. Melania was not the type to back away from challenges. According to GQ, she went on casting calls for alcohol and tobacco ads, which her underage competitors couldn't be hired for. Once, she landed a camel ad, a billboard in Times Square. A self-described homebody, she had a preference for staying indoors and maintained her enviable physique by walking with ankle weights, as well as by eating seven pieces of fruit a day. However, Trump's former roommate Matthew Atanian told the GQ that she may have resorted to other measures. She went away for a two-week vacation, then came back and was more buxom, he said. She admitted it to me. She just said it needed to be done to get more lingerie jobs, implying that she may have worked on her body to make it more acceptable for lingerie jobs. Worthy of note is her now infamous British GQ center spread in the nude in 2000. In a 2015 interview with Barbara Walters via Refinery29, Melania gracefully acknowledged her former career. I think people will always judge. That's part of the job that I was doing. I was a very successful model, nothing more than you see every year in Sports Illustrated. Did she have any qualms about the measures she had to take to remain relevant in the modeling industry? If she did, she didn't give any indication. How much would her experience in the modeling world affect the later parts of her life? Keep watching this video to find out just how much.
It was not love at first sight for Melania and Donald Trump. Melania and Donald's relationship didn't exactly get off to a great start, or in the very least, the kind of start that gets pulses racing and people panting with excitement. I was not starstruck, she told GQ when talking about the first time she met her future husband. She recollected that she had been invited to a New York City party at the Kit Kat Club by Zampoli. It was New York Fashion Week in 1998, and the 28-year-old model was about to meet Donald Trump, who was another Zampoli invitee. But it wasn't love at first sight. I didn't know much about him, she told GQ, and she wasn't about to give her number to a 52-year-old billionaire. At the time of their meeting, Donald had already separated from his second wife actress Marla Maples. However, he arrived with a date. Instead, she collected his digits. She told GQ, If I give him my number, I'm just one of the women he calls. I wanted to see what his intention was. It tells you a lot from the man what kind of number he gives you. He gave me all of his numbers. Her friend Atanian also said that she had some trust issues with him at the beginning. She kept her apartment to have her own space because of this. However, it won't take long before the two would kick off a romance. A friend from way back speculated that it's about all that power and protection. I think she needed a strong man, a father figure. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Donald was not going to spare any expenses on his soon-to-be wife. It is still mind-boggling how much Donald Trump spent on Melania Trump's engagement ring and their wedding reception. Not one to pass up a good deal, Mr. Trump purchased his wife's 12-carat emerald-cut Lawrence Graff diamond ring for $1.5 million, 50% off. He would later replace it with an upgraded 25-carat diamond on their 10th anniversary. Her wedding gown landed on the cover of Vogue. The train was about 13 feet long, the veil was 16 feet long, and the bride could barely walk in the nearly 300 feet of ruched satin. Her sister Inez, who stood by her side as maid of honor, was clad in Vera Wang. New York event designer Preston Bailey told The Hollywood Reporter that he created the bride's very classic, very creamy and white color palette event. According to him, she said, I want something that is very elegant but not over the top. Of course, this depends on what you consider as over the top. The reception for their wedding cost a whopping $35 million. No small number for the woman who grew up wearing self-designed clothes. Melania Trump's never hired a nanny for her son, Baron. Barely a year after their marriage, Melania and Donald welcomed a son whom they christened Baron. Baron was born in March 2006. Melania was 35 at the time. She became a U.S. citizen that year, but in a funny twist of events, her son would become a U.S. citizen before her. Astonishingly, Melania did not hire a nanny to care for her son. Although she has a chef and an assistant, she assumed a traditional mothering role for her son. She told Parenting Magazine, We know our roles. I didn't want Donald to change the diapers or put Baron to bed. Donald, on his own, admitted that he didn't look forward to changing diapers, but that he was a hands-on dad in other ways alluding to the fact that he fed his child on occasion because he liked it. Melania has been open about making her son her priority. She told Parenting Magazine, It is so important to have good listening skills. I don't push my thoughts or likes or dislikes. I want him to grow to be his own person. I think it's important to give a child room to make mistakes to learn. Trump commenced his presidential campaign amidst widespread animosity from the opposition and naysayers who immediately started taking pot shots at him and his family. Barron was not spared from their angry tirades either, often being picked because many people considered him vulnerable and a soft target. Amidst all these, Melania quickly pointed out that Trump had remained a comforting buffer for her son. We're dealing with hateful comments, and I'm teaching Barron the right way and giving him morals, and teaching him values at home, she told us weekly. She continued, Of course, we both miss Donald because he is on the road a lot, but Baron understands, and he's doing great. This shows just how much she prioritizes Baron's well-being, and how far she has evolved from being a little model to becoming a mother and wife to one of the most powerful men in the world. On staying happy in her marriage, 
there are few things as challenging as marriages. And being married to a man like Donald Trump comes with its own peculiar kind of challenges. The media has been quick to home in on the seeming disaffection between the couples. Melania, on her part, infamously swatted Donald's hand on a state visit to Israel. However, Melania Trump holds a different view from what the media portrays about her marriage. She confidently stated to Parenting Magazine, My life is very normal. For me. Maybe for some people they would not think that. But for me it is. I know my husband. We have a great relationship. We are both very independent. We know what our roles are, and we are happy with them. She continued, I don't think you need to be with your husband every minute of every day. Both people should do what their passion is and then get together in the mornings and evenings to share, experience life, and have a great time. You know that saying, work hard and play harder? That's what we do. It is said that he who wears the shoes knows where it pinches. So I guess it is fair to say that there's no better judge of her marriage than Melania herself. Before assuming the role of first lady, Melania had other things going on for herself. She kept active in creating a skincare line and jewelry collections. She also appeared as a guest host on The View. She chooses privacy and parenthood over politics. One of the things Melania Trump is famed for is her love for privacy. Also, since the birth of her son, she has always maintained that Barron remains the priority. Melania Trump largely kept a low profile during her husband's presidential campaign. Choosing to occasionally appear on social media and give carefully curated interviews in her penthouse. In one such interview with 2020 and 2015, she justified her absence on the campaign trail, saying, It's my choice not to be there. I support my husband 100%, but we have a nine year old son together, Baron, and I'm raising him, and this is the age he needs a parent at home. She famously waited to move into the White House until June 2017, long after the inauguration, in order to reportedly keep Barron enrolled in his school for the rest of the 2017 school year. She has continued to shield Barron long after that. On being America's second-ever foreign-born first lady, Melania is America's second foreign-born first lady. The first was John Quincy Adams' London-born wife, Louisa. Melania became First Lady of the United States in January 2017, at age 46. And it's almost like a full-time job dealing with critics ever since the start of her husband's campaign. Trump's immigration policies were controversial during his presidency, and Melania has taken most of the heat because she, herself, is an immigrant. According to the Los Angeles Times, while under fire for supposedly working in the U.S. illegally on a visitor's visa, Melania was deft in defending herself in an interview with Harper's Bazaar, where she said, I followed the rules. As a foreign-born first lady, Melania had her work cut out for her. She seems to have handled the added attention just fine. Melania doesn't always see eye to eye with Donald. Melania Trump casts the image of a dutiful wife, never leaving her husband's side in the line of duty. When asked in an interview whether she thought of her marriage as one of equals, she replied, I would say yes. Mr. Trump disagreed, saying, I would say no. I think she's far greater than the 50%. She further told Harper's Bazaar that her absence from the public eye was strategic. I'm choosing not to go political publicly because that is my husband's job. I'm very political in private life. And between me and my husband, I know everything that is going on between my husband and me. But I chose not to be on the campaign. I have my own mind. I am my own person, and I think my husband likes that about me. But do they always agree? I give him my opinions, and sometimes he takes them in, and sometimes he does not. Do I agree with him all the time? No. This is, however, not unusual, as couples are known to disagree. Whatever their differences might be, it does not seem strong enough to tear them apart. Is Melania Trump the next Jackie O? Melania easily conjures the image of a fashion icon. Her custom-made designer apparel and carefully selected pieces perhaps remind many of the equally iconic Jackie O. Prior to her husband's election, 
she was already subject to scrutiny regarding her wardrobe. She wore a streamlined, sleeveless black sheath dress, a matching coat and Christian Louboutin heels, wrote the New York Times after a meeting with First Lady Michelle Obama in November 2016. The paper added, I'd say she looked polished and professional and as if she wasn't trying to call attention to herself, though that is kind of unavoidable. In many ways, it can be said that her early look gave off a Jackie O vibe. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar, she spoke about former First Lady Jackie Kennedy, saying, She had a very beautiful, elegant, simple, but feminine style. We can't exactly tell how much the former First Lady influenced Mrs. Trump's style, but one thing's for sure. She definitely had an admiration for Jackie O. On making a literal fashion statement, Melania would quickly evolve from wardrobe choices reminiscent of Jackie Kennedy's to making her own fashion statements. In 2018, Trump boarded a plane bound for the United States-Mexico border alongside Melania, who wore a green Zara jacket with the question, I really don't care, do you? emblazoned across the back. Many people considered it to be an ill-timed outfit. That's because Trump was scheduled to meet with migrant children who'd been separated from their parents. Melania's spokesperson, Stephanie Grisham, said in a statement to CBS News that it was nothing more than a jacket. She added, There was no hidden message. However, the president took to Twitter and contradicted her statement. Trump claimed that the words on his wife's jacket referred to the fake news media. He added that, Melania has learned how dishonest they are, and she truly no longer cares. In an interview months later, the First Lady spoke out about the jacket, saying, It was for the people and for the left-wing media who are criticizing me, and I want to show them that I don't care. This showed that her motive hadn't been as innocuous as her spokesperson had made it seem. What Melania Trump's handwriting says about her personality the eyes are supposedly the window to the soul, but handwriting experts might beg to differ. In their opinion, the window to the soul lies in a few scribbles. A foremost handwriting expert from the UK, according to Emma Back, after reviewing a handwritten note from the Trumps, revealed to Express that the president's lettering shows that he is a master strategist. The expert continued saying, He analyzes and manipulates and keeps his emotions private. But that's not all. His signature is all angles. He wants others to be in no doubt that he is in charge. The alpha male, she claimed. He is narcissistic, but not physically vain. Stubborn, not impetuous. The expert also noted that the first lady had begun to adopt some of her husband's signature moves. She too is no pushover. Like her husband's, Melania Trump's handwriting also suggests that she is stubborn and single-minded. It remains to be seen how much of this is speculation. Whatever the case might be, neither Trump nor Melania comes off as pushovers. Melania is ready to serve as First Lady again in 2024. It was rumored in 2021 that Melania Trump had no desire to return to the White House. Being First Lady again is not what she wants one source revealed, adding, For her, it was a chapter, and it's over, and that's that. Two years later, Melania Trump granted Fox News an exclusive interview revealing that she is excited about her husband's re-election bid. She talked about her plans to expand her Be Best initiative should she have the opportunity to be First Lady again. She also expressed her full support for her husband, my husband achieved tremendous success in his first administration, and he can lead us toward greatness and prosperity once again, she told Fox News. He has my support, and we look forward to restoring hope for the future and leading America with love and strength, she added. Will Melania Trump become the first lady of the United States of America once more? What do you think of her remarkable transformation from a young teenager in Slovenia to becoming the first lady of the most powerful country on earth? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe if this is your first time viewing this channel.